Oh. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just moving these stones. One more over there. My walkway is gonna go from here all the way down. So I just wanted to make sure that I have two wide plus another border piece like that one is enough to get me by my citrus trees. We'll come down and then go all the way down through here past my fans and my palms. So then they they know what to finish off and how many container stones to order. They're not light and not in this heat. <laughs> Take my towel. How many of these are you moving? Just these ones. I just want to make sure and have a look so I can show Solomon what I want to do and make sure they fit widthwise. Basically, two stones wide with a border of these ones sitting straight, like here. These ones will be kind of garbage, probably. Keeps me just about a foot off of my roots all the way down. So it allows me to do go down, keep all that stuff growing. I can do garden box on the other side, and I can run two stones all the way down and that'll give me a nice nice walkway I'll do a step step down here into here and then I'll tie it into this will all get revamped at some time not too worried about it right now um, I just want to get the walkway back in because you don't want to be in case there's any thorns or the little black ants down here they sting pretty good and a thorn always hurts so it's nice to have the walkways when you're motoring around um, so yeah we'll just tie it into step down and tie it into here and it'll go all the way out past here past the grass and my coconut palms out here and then when we get to here i'm gonna go right here to the post come off the other side go around to my around to the outdoor shower and around to this cactus and then continue going out line up with that wall and then the other one will come down into here and we'll make a box around this and then we'll probably move these over and then we'll continue going out so bye babe a squeegee? Like, what do you mean? Like a window squeegee? Yeah, that pushes the water off. Oh, there might be a mop in that out here. I can check. So that's what we're doing. We're just doing this as a template. So we can show Solomon. Lord of the Stones, we'll get a truckload of stones in. These things are pretty much dirt and water, I guess. They're not expensive for an entire truckload, which I'll probably need a full truckload and then nice to have some extras finish off down around here it's coming did a little bit of planting today um, got some other stuff put in from the local nursery so that was cool some more agaves bought a couple birds of paradise um, yeah and then my palm it, it poured here like the last couple nights just thunderstorms like crazy which was really good so everything's nice and green and lush and, and growing my bananas and there's more of them coming so and my citrus trees right here but she's coming all in due time, but it's fun. Oh, as soon as he saw me, as soon as I ducked right in, I even went around too. Oh, 
Oh, let's get a little bit of water onto this stuff. So happy I found that little baby banana plant in there. Ooh, there's so many bananas in pajamas. Oh. Hello, banana plant. Nice, because in the afternoon, everything's shaded over here. Gives everything a chance to grow without getting burned. It's the thing, you want things to shade other things while you're growing down here. Um, you want things definitely shaded until they get to the point where they can grow on their own. If you tear down all the stuff, which people do make the, um, people do make that mistake where they just cut everything down. You use it as protection against anything else. You can get other small things growing. And then when they're ready to go on their own, they're good. So. Oh, coconut palms look good. I think these things started out and they were like six inches high a year ago. They take about five years to get about the size of my lime trees, which will be good. And then they'll start yielding. So my goal is to have them up along the edge of the roof because I can actually then just walk out the edge of my roof and pick them. And that'll be so much, so much more handy than, um, I wonder. Oh, go. Oh, do the other agave. And then it's a swim and a surf, cool down. And then this will be one of our last nights here, and we gotta get ready to pack up and head for Managua. So we got flights really early going home, so it's easier just to stay in a hotel. It's easier just to stay at the hotel across the road for the night. It's cheap. Um, and the flight leaves. Got to be at the airport like 2:30 in the morning, unfortunately, because it gets in at 5:30, leaves 5:30 here, which is nice. Gets us back to Toronto around one in the afternoon which is beautiful because then we got a couple hour drive to go north so gets us back up home by dark able to get a bite to eat bite to eat in bed all day Sunday get to rest and relax <laughs> this week hasn't really been a relaxing week it's been a lot of work so yeah if you're new to the channel, we're trying to drop videos every week, at least a couple times, if not at least once. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for that, like and subscribe, hit the alert if you want to, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. You.